Good morning. Well, hi, Doug. How are you? Hi, Bill. I'm joining you for the first time. Thank you. Yes, yes I know. And you're probably going to be leaving me early, and I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, March 30th, 2024. My goodness. A, uh, a man was telling his neighbor, I just bought a new hearing aid. It cost me $4,000. And it's state of the art. It does everything. It's perfect. Really, his neighbor asked, answer, answer, asked <laughs> what, what kind is it? His reply was 1230. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you have to be quick to understand that one now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, tip of the day. How to make a conference call from your phone. You ever wonder how can I make a call two people or three people or four people once I on my, on my uh, iPhone. Okay. And I need to share my screen. Sit right here. <clears throat> I need to hide this. Everybody still with me? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. And you can see the two screens? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you call somebody on your phone. So if I call Ann, <laughs> Ann's always my uh, assistant here, and then I'll call. Go to. So I'm going to call Ann. So I go to my contacts, and I go here, and I say Ann. Mm, I should get Ann Ross here somewhere. There she is. And I go ahead and tap her number. And she's going to pick up, I hope. Now, everybody mute themselves. I'm going to mute everybody. Hi, Ann. <laughs> okay. And now I want to add somebody to my phone call. Right? And supposedly there's a little thing here that says add. Oh, see it down there? Wow. It says add a person. So if I click there, and then I go to Bill. Oops, wait a minute. Yeah. Now I'm going to call Bill. And I'm calling Bill and Ann's on hold. Hello, Doug. <laughs> Who did I? Um, is that you, Bill? <laughs> He's on the line and it says merge calls there at the bottom. So I merge the calls. And now Bill can talk to Ann. And they are communicating with each other. You can't hear them, but they are. Well, I can put it on speaker. So will each of you yeah. say something? I see you. Hear you, Bill. Hello, I'm here. Hello, Bill and Bill. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> okay. So that's a pretty easy, nice little trick you can do at any particular time. Just kind of follow the little prompts and you get it. So I'm going to end the call, folks. That's a neat trick. Isn't that a neat one? All right. Okay. But That's just not, go ahead. You're talking to the first person first, right? I mean, you have to call them first. You have to call someone first. Yeah. Some, you, know, you call somebody first, and then you see the ad, and then you just add the next one. All right. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. 
I remember when we had businesses and we had to we had to have a conference phone. It was really complicated. All right, <laughs> changed considerably. <clears throat> I have a dumb question. How do you record? Like if if you're talking to somebody, how do you record? Uh, huh? Anybody know that one? I, to record a phone call, I don't know if there's a way to do that. Probably not because you have to have permission. Bill Callagher can check that for us. Yeah, you have to have permission. I know usually to let them know you're recording. Right. But, but yeah. there, there, there is a. Uh, I guess if you put it on speakerphone and then turn on the recorder. Yeah, where's the recorder? Work, I'm not sure. There's a where's there's recorder? A, there's an app called Voice Recorder. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can find that one. Yeah. See it? It's voice recorder. And I just hit the button and I can start talking and it's recording what I'm saying. I see. Okay. And it just recorded what you said because you're on the speaker here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't know if that would work if they're on the phone. If they're on the phone. Okay. Yeah. And it just recorded what you said because you're on the speaker here. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, last time we talked about, let me get something out of the way on your screen here. There we go. Last time uh, we talked about using the camera and you know what's coming next, everybody. Mm -hmm. we have a little quiz about that. Okay. So may I get your pencil and paper out? First question is, how do you take a picture with an iPhone with the iPhone camera? Do you press the volume down button? Do you press the volume button twice? Do you slide the lock screen to the right? Do you tap the white circle in the center of the screen? Or do you open the control center and tap the camera icon? Bill, your quiz is not up on the screen. Your oh, camera. thank you, thank you, thank we you. We like that. My question is not on the screen. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that. Whoa. What is on your screen? Your uh, same as before, your uh, phone and your um, okay. iPad. Really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just the front it's screen. I, I think I know what happened. Okay, thank you. Uh, I got to stop that share and start another one. <laughs> Boom. Let me try something a little different. You're back, right? <laughs> and did that change? What are you seeing right now? So you. Just you. Just you. Oh, just, just you. <laughs> <laughs> I see okay. everybody. All right. I see everybody. You do? Yeah. Yeah. I see everybody also. Oh, oh I know. You, I go this. That depends on your view. I don't. I see Ann right now. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, well, Bill is setting that up. Go ahead. It says that it's not legal to record phone calls on your iPhone. And so another company said the way you do it is you uh, check that it's legal in your state. And then you have two devices and have uh, record the audio, use the audio voice recorder on one device to uh, oh, do the phone okay. on the other because Apple blocks it from doing it oh okay even though yeah i just thought you might have to have permission but okay two times that right. work. thank you bill is that the first question on the screen now 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Second question. What happens when you tap the volume up button when you are in the photo mode on the camera application? You activate burst mode for rapid photos. You zoom in on the subject. You switch between the front and rear cameras. Oh, yes. Or you access the camera settings menu. Bill, could you mute us all? Yeah. I'm going to try to here. Mm. I have to go this. Oh, I know where I'm. I got to do some switching around to do that. Hold on. Jeez. You're all muted at this point. I have been, so I can't tell. Hold on. <laughs> Was that you, Kathy? <laughs> We're all muted. Just in case my husband says something. <laughs> Or, or he's got the uh, basket. <laughs> okay. And we'll share screen again. We're going to go to my quiz. That was question two. Question three. How do you switch between the front-facing and rear-facing cameras? Swipe up and down on the screen. Double tap the screen. Tap the arrow icon at the bottom right of your screen or slide the screen left or right. What does the yellow square in the camera app indicate? The area that will be blurred in a portrait mode if available, the area that will be focused on when you tap to focus, Location where the picture is saved or the zoom level of the camera. Don't go so fast. <laughs> Number five. Come on. How can you zoom in and out while using the camera application? Pinch two fingers together on the screen to zoom in and spread them apart to zoom out. Use the volume button on the side of your phone. There is no zoom function on the camera or tap the zoom icon if available or select zoom level. What's the flash icon? What is the flash icon on the top left of the camera app used for? To activate the timer for delayed photos, to turn on the LED flash for adding light, to adjust the brightness of the photo, to switch between photo and video mode. Number seven, how can you access the settings menu for your iPhone camera application? Switch down from the top of the screen, swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and go to settings. Go to the settings app, tap the hold, hold the white circle. There is no separate settings menu for the camera app. What does HDR 
high dynamic range do when you enable it in the camera settings. Records a video in slow motion, captures a more detailed in highlights, more detail in highlights and shadow for a balanced image, applies the black and white filter to your phone or increases the resolution of the photo. Number nine, where are the photos and videos saved on your iPhone cam from your iPhone camera app? In the downloads folder, in a separate app folder within the photo application, they are automatically uploaded to the cloud and saved directly or saved directly to social media platforms. And last but not least, how do you access the most recently captured photo or video on your phone? Open the camera app and the last photo will be displayed. Open the Safari app and navigate to the camera roll. Open the messages app and the photo will be attached to a new message or open the mail app and the photo will be in a draft attachment. And the question is, how can you access the most recently captured photo? One of those answers is correct, by the way. Okay. And the answers. Number one, the answer is C. Tap the white circle in the center of the screen. It's not quite in the center, but it's the big white circle. What happens when you tap the volume up button when you are in the photo app on the app and the camera application? Photo mode in the camera application. The answer is A, you activate the burst mode for rapid pictures. That's the paparazzi mode. How do you switch between the front facing and rear facing camera? C, tap the arrow, a little round circular arrow, arrow icon, the bottom right corner of the screen. It's the little round icon on an iPad as well. <clears throat> what does the yellow square in the camera app indicate? This is when you touch the screen. Remember, we touched the screen and you'd get a yellow, yellow little yellow box. <clears throat> That's the area that the, will be in focus when you tap when you tap to focus. Okay. Number five. You to zoom in and out, you use your two fingers and you pinch or separate the fingers while touching the screen. That's A. Number six. What is a flash icon on the top left corner of the camera app used for? to turn on the flash. That's B. Number seven, how can you access settings menu in the app, in the iPhone app, camera app? Swipe up from the bottom to get your home screen and then go to settings. That's B again. And by the way, if you pick B a lot, you probably did pretty well on this test. <laughs> How does HDR, <clears throat> what does HDR do when you enable the camera settings? <clears throat> B, it captures more detailed highlights and shadows for a balanced image. <clears throat> you have to hold your camera still a little bit longer when you do that because it takes a little while for it to take, I think it takes two or three pictures 
and then meld molds melds them together. That's B. Number nine. Where does the photo and video, where is it saved? It's saved in a ep, separate app folder within the I, within the photos application. The name of that folder is recents and all your photos are stored there. And number 10, how can you access the most recently captured photo? Whenever you open the uh, iPhone camera app in the lower left-hand corner will be the last picture you took. So you open the app and the last photo will be displayed in the lower left-hand corner. Any questions about that? Would you go back, Bill, to that high dynamic thing? I don't know what that meant. Okay, let me go to Please. that. Please, thank you. Right here. <clears throat> okay, what does that mean? Uh, there is a settings on your phone. Let me, okay. let, me, let me switch back to the other screen if I can. Let's see how I do that here with this. <clears throat> what are you looking at right now? Still the, the, um... the blank screen of yours. Where you can like word type a letter or something. Yeah, it looks like a word document. Okay. Blank. It's your it quiz is. document. It is. Okay. Reason I'm having uh, so many interesting things going on here is. I don't usually. I have usually have two screens and then I can work on it. I still haven't gotten my new computer back. Um, You're doing great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so you can see my two screens now? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> HDR, right? We go to settings and camera. There's a question there about HDR. I'm trying to remember where it is. It's no longer there. Okay. Oh, okay. No, fine. <laughs> No. It's probably something I'll never use, but I wondered what it meant. No, what you... I, it's something you probably want to use. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bill? Yep. I went to settings, photos, and down at the bottom it says view full HDR. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, no, that's the view. Uh, I'm, I'm... Okay. I'm going to my my uh, camera. Bill, on my camera, it yep. under settings and camera, it says smart HDR. I would turn that on. I don't have that particular one on my phone. It tells me the front camera will always use HDR auto. Right. And I'm seeing if it's here. When I take a picture, it takes, um, if it's in if most of the newer phones, that's what they take all the time, it seems. 
And when I take the picture, what it does is it takes two or three different pictures very quickly at different focal depths. For example, if you're taking a picture of a, it's a beautiful spring day, there's a big tree in front, in front of you. It's just green as can be, the leaves have come out, it's wonderful, and the sky is a really deep blue. And you take the picture in normal mode, you would, if it's focused on the tree, you'll get the trees beautiful green, but the sky will be a will not be the brilliant blue you think you were looking at. If it's an HDR mode, both the tree and the sky will be the uh, the brilliance you see with your eye. So that's what HDR means. It's taking several pictures concurrently and then combines them. And it all happens pretty uh, automatically. And that tells you what it is. Um, I'm not sure if your phone is getting it. Some the newer phones. And Bill, what what phone do you have? I have a twelve. And so you do have an HDR setting there. Yeah, actually, I just looked it up on the Apple website. Go ahead. And it. Um, and it says it was talking about turning off HDR automatic. The auto it's automatic HDR, but you could turn it off on iPhone 10, 10 R, uh, XS, XR 11s, SEs, and 12. You go to settings camera, and you can turn off smart HDR if you don't want it. Uh, you can turn HDR on or off when you're on the photo screen. Then they have HDR videos for 12, 13, 14, and 15 models. And that one, they're recording video in Dolby Vision HDR for true to color and contrast. Wow. And you can turn that on and off on the newer cameras. On the video, but not the... Not the just used to phone. only be talking about videos on the uh, new ones. Yeah. I recommend you turn it on. Your pictures will be more... My phone automatically. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but then don't you have to remove them, Bill, when you want to just look at your regular pictures? No, once they've done it, it's it's there. So Wait. the picture is, is saved in the more brilliant format. Once you have the picture, it doesn't I'm not gonna tell them I don't the, the pictures do take up a little more space. As far as the uh, size of the picture in in meg megabytes, how do you turn that on in iPhone fourteen? It's already on. It stays on. Yeah, that's what I I think that's what Bill said. Yes. Mine is on every person already in the camera. So they in the old. I have phone. the thirteen, and it's under record video, in it was automatically on, but you can turn it off on 13 with a iPhone 13. On the video, but not on the standalone. Uh, yeah, just on the video, yeah. The phones before that, I have a 12, and when it's when I had HDR on and I hit the button, it would, and I'd look at the button and it would seem to take a little longer to take the picture. And that was the difference. When they went to 13, they must have, uh, the processor and the ability of the of the computer in there um, does it quickly enough so you don't have to worry about it. Thank you. So, so where do you turn that on? Which? What phone do you have? Uh, 14. No, you don't. It's already on. Yep, yeah, but where? There is no place. It's It's automatically every picture you take. But where do you go on the phone, or which which app, or which do you go on photos? It's in the camera. It's in. It's on, It's the camera. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to know. I understand. Okay. 
Last Thank time, we, we also got into working with your photos a little bit. And I'll just start out by, if I bring up my photos, and I tap on recents, these are the recent pictures I've taken. If I hit the back arrow there on albums, I tapped albums at the bottom and it had a lot of different things, types of albums there. It had people's pets and places. And if I tapped on that, I could get a, a image of everybody that looks like Ann Ross. So there's Ann Ross's pictures. If I tapped on, uh, let's say, <laughs> I got a dog pictures here. If I tapped on uh, my son, right? There's every picture that I have on my phone that has my son's face in it. And some even have his, a mask on. Any questions about that? No questions about that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, but that's a great thing to know. <laughs> you can add, if you have someone in a picture, let me go back here. Um, let me go back to this picture, and there's two faces in there. And if I tap the picture and pull up, you see the two faces there? Either the lower left-hand corner. So all I did was bring up the picture, and then I put my finger on the picture and pulled up a little bit, and up came two faces that I have not identified yet. And what I could do is I could select one of them by just putting my, tapping my finger right there, for example, and then name that person. And they would be, they would be added to the person, the, the face little circles that I had there, and it would find every other picture that has that face in it. Okay. Any questions about that? It's over my head how you got the faces, but. Okay, no, I don't want it to be over your head. So let me try it again. When you tap, I'm going to, I have an image here of somebody, of um, some faces in it. Mm -hmm. okay. I tap the image and it comes up and shows me the image. Okay. And then I put my finger on the picture, you know, off, not on the image, and I just pull up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I pull up on the picture. You can't see me doing that, but I pull up on the picture and it shows those little circles along with a bunch of other things, how the picture was taken, where it was taken. Were you able to get that far? Well, I pulled up a picture and it's got like where you got those circles. It's got the two faces separated. Like I could name them, I suppose. Yes, and that and there, there's a little question mark. Really small, but it's a really question yeah, mark. Yeah. There. So then, okay. You tap that that particular one. So yeah. you tap it, and it comes up and says, "Name this person." Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. That's good. By the way, when I did that, and I'll do it on my. I don't know if I. I do it on my iPad. Somebody's got a clock running in the background. <laughs> um, here's one. And I pull up on it. And what you don't see, and what I want to do is take my phone and take a picture. Take a picture. 
of what I'm seeing on my iPad. So this picture came up when I pulled up from the bottom. So I tapped that picture, then I pull up from the bottom and there's the face there at the bottom, but you also get a bunch of information about the picture, the date it was taken. And you can adjust that by tapping the word adjust. So you could actually change the date that the picture was taken. You could adjust the location. <laughs> okay. Any questions about that now? No, thank you very much. I okay. have a question, Bill. Go. When I get a picture up and I and it's and they got all the little circles at the bottom and it says name this person but at the same time there's this white light that's outlining everyone and moves around every person in the picture why oh picture oh. okay it has to happen on the iphone <laughs> Let me go yes, back I'm to, on the iPhone. Let me go back to the iPhone. When you tap that, and then when you let your finger up, there's a capability of cutting that image. What the what what Apple has added here? If I put my finger on those two people, I can move them around. You can't see it. Darn. I don't think it happens on the iPad. Yes, it does. Here, let me take a picture of what Anne's talking about. If I press and hold this image, see how I can move those. <laughs> what I'm doing is cutting out those images from my picture. Right? And then it comes up and says, copy. And I can copy that image and paste it. I've just copied it, so it's on my clipboard right now. And if I go to, let's say, notes, there's notes, start a new note. And if I just tap the screen and paste, there's the image that I cut out of the picture. Let's go through that again. I go to a photo that has image in it. Let me pick somebody else's. Let me pick this. <laughs> Let me pick this guy, right? And I press and hold. Come on. There. And now I can move him around. If I let my finger up, it says copy. And now I can take that image and paste it somewhere else. Bill, can you do that with a group of people? Like okay. I have a family picture and I wanted to pull the one couple out. Well, you can't pull individuals out. Okay. Not, thank not you. with this app. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's a well, great Oh, that's a good question. You mean if I have a group of people, I can't pull one out? Correct. <laughs> in other words, I don't want Aunt Sarah in my picture. <laughs> where is the once it? Where is it saved? Say again. Once it's yeah. Yeah. Once you uh, you said it. Okay. Once you have the photo and you cut it out, where where does it go? It's on the clipboard, and you can go anywhere else. Where there, where you would type like in a message or an email or uh, notes, tap the screen and it says paste, and it'll paste it wherever you are. And where is the clipboard? It's in. It's a magical, mystical clipboard, Kathleen. Can't see, feel, or touch it. 
You can look in the inside of your phone and it might be able no, I'm kidding. You, you can't see it. It's just a clipboard. And it contains and, the thing you just copied. And how do you find the clipboard? You can't find the clipboard. The way in which you cut the way in which you paste what's on the clipboard is you <laughs> is you tap the screen where it says paste. It's still on my clipboard, by the way. So if I start a, a new message here, now it's a blank screen on my iPad, right? If I tap where the cursor's blinking, right there, it says paste. And it will paste whatever you last put on the clipboard. And there I am. Okay. I think <laughs> <laughs> you just have to convince yourself that it's, it's there. I can't go see it unless I paste it somewhere and you can paste it many, many times. If I go here and I tap again, I can paste again. No, I don't want that running around my. <laughs> it does it without a background. It just places the image. That's correct. I mean, Can you, you do can that always, in all your photos, or is it just certain ones? <laughs> you know, anyone that has an image in it. I don't know if it'll pick up the eagle. Let's try the eagle. Let me go to uh, my photos. Yep. I was able to pick up the eagle. Let me get a... Let me show you that. <clears throat> There's the picture of the eagle on my iPad. I put my finger right here and I move it. And now I have the picture of the eagle without the background. Okay. And I left my finger up and it says copy there at the bottom. I copy it. And now it's on that clipboard. Kathleen, <laughs> you have to believe it. And I'll go to uh, messages. Let me send a message to my wife. I can tap right there and paste. And I just pasted that image with no background and I send it to my wife. Okay. Why did you go to your iPhone to get the picture? Why didn't you just get it off of your iPad? I, I know. I, I The only reason I did it on my iPad, Jim, was to be able to show you. You could do it on the iPhone. You know what I mean? I want to be able, I can't show you how the whole thing works on my iPhone alone. If you look at my iPhone right there, if I touch the screen, no, that's not, I have to go to my photos. If I go to my photos on the phone and I touch the screen, you don't see what's happening. Okay, it doesn't, the technology isn't up to date. <laughs> so I wanted to show you actually what happens. You can do it on the iPhone as well. Bill. Yeah. I have a question. So you want to show somebody a picture that has a wonderful background because it's got you know, the Eiffel Tower in the background or something. And all it shows is you in front of the Eiffel Tower, but no Eiffel Tower. So what's the point? <laughs> it's not well. If you want to send somebody the picture of the Eiffel Tower with you in the background, you just send them the picture. <laughs> okay, I'll go to my photos here. <clears throat> and let me pick a photo. Right? 
I can pull my son out of that picture and I can pull my daughter-in-law out of that picture. If I wanted to send that photo, <clears throat> I would just tap, let me get the right indicator here. <clears throat> Again, I have to show you it so you see the whole thing from a picture on my iPhone. <clears throat> That's what my screen looks like. And if I tap, if I tap here, I can share that picture and then I can airdrop it, message it or mail it. And I would get the whole picture. I've not taken the image out of it. Does that answer your question, Ann? Well, I haven't done it yet, but I've got a picture of, say, of somebody skiing. Yeah. And and I it comes up copy, add sticker, share. And I click, and if I click copy, it will copy the whole picture. No. Or, if you click copy, it will just click that image. Just that image. That's that little white line going all around that image, too. That's correct. Okay, so that's all that's it's a, going to copy. But if I click share, it will it will share the whole picture. If you click the little share box, is that what you meant? The share box? No, it comes up on top of the on top of the of the photo and it says copy, add sticker, share. Uh -uh. I don't think share share will only add what's being outlined. You could, I guess, select all. I'm not sure what that does. What well, it says add sticker. It doesn't say share. I don't all. want to, I'm not want to do that. If you tap share, I can share it in an email and it pastes the both images in there. Oh. And you want to get the Eiffel Tower, too. Perhaps if you click uh, all, maybe it would pick it up because those two images are prominent. This feature is to pick out images. That's its intention. It's pretty sophisticated. If you want to send the whole picture, you go here and do the... The, the share box in the upper left. But if you tried to, like on that picture, pull your son out, it wouldn't fill in the background behind him. That's correct. That's the purpose of it, to take him out of the picture. Is that, yeah, and Bill, I'm sure you understand that. Yeah. Th that's interesting. That's the only two images that are, it's picking up. And if I cl click on my son there and it comes up, I can select all the images it could extract. And I haven't played with that enough, but it would pick up both my daughter and son-in-law. My daughter, my son and daughter-in-law. <laughs> right. Okay. It cuts off a leg where the cable is. Yep because that's not a prominent object. Okay. By the way, that, that puzzle, it's called Starry Night by Van Gogh. All the pieces in that puzzle are different. <laughs> Took us two and a half days to put that together. That's fast, Bill, for that puzzle. I, well, you don't know my daughter. <laughs> she was leaving the next morning. <laughs> so, all right. Bill? Go ahead, please. Uh, do you start off with uh, the app of the photo, or do you start in settings and collect photo? Do you? When you do all this, you, you go to I'm the all, app. I'm in the, 
I'm in the photos application, not in settings. Oh, okay, okay. This may be a little too technical, but if you hey, when if you like copy a particular image out of a photograph, can you and you can paste you showed pasting it into a note, can you save it as a JPEG? I don't know. <laughs> well, once you no, I don't know, Bill. <laughs> Good question. Oh my goodness. Here we have three a bunch of people here. And I got all of them. <laughs> That's the whole damn family, fam family. <laughs> and as you can tell, it's the last piece, of course, <laughs> of the puzzle. Anyway. Somebody's still on because I can hear your uh, your clock ticking. There you go. <laughs> hey, uh, Bill. Go ahead, please. In in answer to uh, Bill's question, maybe uh, you could take a pic a screenshot of that new image, and then it could be saved as a JPEG. Perhaps I don't know. If I take this, I can click share, but that's print to save image. Huh, store PDF. I don't see a JPEG capability, William. Okay. There it is as a... Uh, individual picture without the background. And that may, you could probably, that's probably JPEG, right? It's now a picture of only the, the characters. That is a JPEG, I would yep. think. Okay, we just did it. So I tapped the share and I went down and saved the image. All right. One of the, one of the things that I have done, is it on my iPhone now? Nope. You see on my iPhone, that's my my lock screen. It comes up and it says if if found, call. See that? How did I get my text on there? Well, what I'd like to do is show you how you can add text to a photo. All right. So the first thing we do is bring up the photo we would like to add the text to. So I go to my photos. 
I'm going to do this on the iPhone. Works well. I'll do it on the iPad so you can see it. And let's say it's that picture I want to add text to. I tap edit. And now I can make all kinds of changes. And since I'm there, I'll talk about the kinds of editing that you can do. This one's called adjust. It's an automatic, the one I'm pointing to now on the iPad. And it makes the color changes automatic that it thinks will improve the picture. You could crop the picture. So if I click crop, and then I can move the edges. So I can focus more on the picture. Let's say I want to get that eagle a little more centered. There we go. How about that? All right? And then I click crop. And now and I click done. And now I've cropped the picture. And it saves the picture that way. I'll click edit, and there are other changes I can make, all of them over here. Again, I can click the auto here to make the adjustments. I can click exposure, all these different. Now, most people don't get into this, like for brightness there, I click on brightness, and then see what I can do to it. What is black point? Which one is that one? Um, <laughs> it's one of the ones you passed, and I don't the know. Black point. I don't know. I'm going to change it. Ooh. I'm not a, uh, a photo editing expert by any means, but you can certainly, whoa, that's a pretty good picture. Right? Saturation level, you can change that. Okay, there are all these different changes you can make to your picture. And, and just go in and play with it to get the effect you might be after or just to, just to see what it all does. What does the vignette do? Which one? <laughs> vignette uh, toward the bottom. Noise. There, the last, yes, I don't know, one. I'm going to do it. Oh, oh see I see. Okay. Yeah. And so the actual picture just comes out in a circle, but does it come on a, uh, on a square or the... Well, it comes out like that, right? So I'll tap done. So now it's darkened around the edge here. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. It's just fun so to play with it. Bill, you, know? you were talking about if you find the phone. So I would type what I want if found, call this number. <laughs> But I'm going to get it to the front of my phone. I'm going to get. I'm going to. I'm going to get that. Thank you. Thank you. There. Right. Thank you. So I want to type some text on this guy and probably put it down here at the bottom. You see where the thing that looks like a little pointed pen is on the screen? I'm putting my little dot on it. I tap that, and it comes up down here. With all kinds of things I can I can actually write on the picture right now if I wanted to scribble or make some changes or things like that. I don't want to do any of that. I want to find those three dots. So let me go through what I've done so far. Right? I tapped edit. Then I typed the little pen. And then I tapped the three dots. Where is the, whoa, just a minute. I've been doing this on my iPhone. And there's no text editing there. How about the plus? 
There it is. I tapped the plus sign instead of the three dots. I'm sorry. So I'll go through it again. I'm looking at a picture I want to put text on. I tap edit. I tap the little pen. And then I tap the plus sign. And it says add text. You click that. And you see the little box that has text on it up here? Well, Bill, that's too small. Well, I click down here and say 24, and I'm going to make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to come up here and make the little box longer. And I want the text to be a different color. I'm going to make it yellow. It just has one choice for text, just what's there. I'll get there in just a minute. Okay. Right. <laughs> I deleted the text was there. If found, return, C-A-L-L, -L, return, 941. 441515. By the way, I did this one time and I put my I put the phone number of the uh, <laughs> of the phone of the phone and I was <laughs> that doesn't work well. And I stretch it out a little bit. I think I can change there we go. Okay, and then I can move it to wherever I want on the screen. And I got to play with the color a little bit, don't I? How does it get to your phone? Well, it's a picture now, right? Right. I tap done. And done again. And now I have that picture with that text on it. And I just want to make sure I have it. I should not have to say that I should have it. Okay. Now, it should be on my phone now as well. It's not there yet. I don't know why. There it is. There it is. Okay. So there it is on my phone. On my iPad. Here it is on my phone. The question is, how do I get that to be on my wallpaper? Is that the question? Yes. Uh, there are actually two places, aren't there, that you can put a picture? One of them is where... You were, and the other is someplace else that opens a screen that I can't remember the name of. Not that I know of. Okay. When you see your phone uh, immediately before you put your um, your password in, there is a different screen on that. That's called the lock screen. Lock screen. Oh, thank you. And how do you get it on the lock screen? That's what we're going to do right now. All right. I always. So I turned it. on my phone and I pressed, right? I press it and I see the different wallpaper that I have. I have that one, that one, that one. So I have those wallpapers and I hit plus. 
and I say photos. And I'm going to scroll down here to the bird. Oh. Uh, all photos. Okay, and there it is. Bill, I, I lost you. When, when you had your screen that it's normally when it's locked, where do you see the plus to do whatever? Okay, I'm going back to my lock screen. Because mine shows the weather and the time and everything. Yeah. Press and hold the screen. Touch the screen. Press and hold it. Okay. And you should get something that comes up like this, where you can stream back and forth. You able to do that? Okay, yeah. When I switched, it went to other things I took before. Yeah. Right. And okay. and okay. Go clear to the right and it says add another one. And you tap the plus sign there. Yes. No, I didn't get it. I don't know what I screwed up. <laughs> Start over again. Turn off okay. click this turn off your screen and turn it back on again. All right. It's on the main page. So I'll hold it. Oh, I see, and then move it over. Okay. I got I think it. You Thank just you. hit the blue plus sign at the bottom. Thank you. As well. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And then you go to photos and you pick that photo. Thank you. There's an alternate way to do it, Bill. If you go into uh, go. settings and then wallpaper, yep. you can set both the lock screen and the one that Kathleen was talking about, which is the background yep. on you. And I'm looking for the wallpaper one here. I started there, Bill. There it is. If you go to settings and wallpaper, and there's your different wallpaper that you have, and you can hit the plus sign there, and it's the same thing that happened. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Mm -hmm. but when I went to the different screens, I had things I didn't want there, so how do I get rid of just one of them? Is that... You have wallpaper there you don't want to use? Right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's a way to get rid of one. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I have I have all these and I, I've gotten I have removed some in the past. Maybe Bill can help us on that one too. <laughs> Check your wallpaper from the lock screen. No, I don't want to do that. I want to see it says add new wallpaper. There is a way to get rid of them. I just don't remember what it is. Try hitting customize. Okay, let me go there. Hold on. And the three dots, maybe? No, no. That didn't work. <laughs> Good thought, though. Oh, you can change the effect there. Ooh. <laughs> okay. One of the, everybody okay on the adding text? And you just have to, I had to go ahead, Bill. Somebody say something or not? Well, I couldn't get it to work. You couldn't get I couldn't. The, when I add the text, there's a box that comes on that says text, and I can't type anything in there and get rid of the text at the same tap, time. Tap the little box. Yes, I've done and that. Let me go back and do it. I'll do, are you doing it on your iPhone? iPhone. Okay, let me do it on the iPhone. I'll pick this picture. I tap edit. I tap the pen and the pen. 
I tap the plus sign and add text. And then I tap the box where it says text. And the keyboard should come up, Bill, or Jim. Yep. And then you can hit delete what's there on the keyboard and then type in new text. Could you go over that again, please? Sure. Okay. Did you get it, Jim? Well, it's, it's still not working right for me. Okay. Tell, I get, me, tell, me, where you, tell me where you fall off the wagon. <laughs> okay. The box says text. Yeah. I start typing in and it types in the stuff, but it doesn't remove the text. So oh, whatever. You had, a, back, you had a backspace over the text that was there. I tried that and it didn't work. Okay. So I picked a picture. I'll pick a plain one this time. Right? And then I tap edit. Kathleen, and then I tap the little pen. The little pen up here, I tap that guy. Uh-huh. And then I tap the plus sign. And then it says add text. I think that using mockups is so much easier, which is what I've been using for text on my photos. That's good. There, I have another app that I use as well, and I prefer, but I didn't want to have to tell everybody. <laughs> what is the app that you have? I I use uh, Photo Mimey, I think it is. Photo Mining, M I N. No, I've forgotten. I haven't okay. been to it for a while. All right. Okay. Thank you. But you get the idea. Okay. Yes. The answer to another question is if you go back to your iPhone yep. and lock it. Okay. You have to have it locked. Okay. Right. Now long long press the picture. You can't long press it. Yeah, there it is. It wants my face ID first. <laughs> okay, I long pressed it. Now You've got a series of choices there that you can customize. If you don't want one of those that are customized, flip it up from the bottom. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> if I don't want this one, I just flip it up. <laughs> and the trash can shows up at the bottom. Thank and you. Get order. the trash can. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. I just make these things so hard. <laughs> okay and if you finally get everything all figured out they'll change the way you do it <laughs> I always say you learn to poke and hope a lot right <laughs> all right Kathleen you, you we, we were talking about you not being able to, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, oh I, it had to do with the. Uh, um... Oh, the icon, what I use for photos, text. Um, I think so. Yeah. Oh, I use uh, Photo, P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. Okay. It's what I use to put text on. Okay. I don't want to have everybody have to download an app. That's why I didn't want to get to it. I'll get to a bunch of apps that I have in a little while. I couldn't move the text. This if time. you oh, you couldn't move it once you got it on there. Yes, I don't know if I did something you, wrong. No, you didn't. There's a way to do it. <laughs> uh, let me go back to photos. Edit. Now I just edit. Tap the pen and paper. Add text. Text. And if you put your finger on it, see how I'm 
moving the sides, there's a way to just move the, there it is. If you grab it in the middle, and I'll show you with the pointer. If you put your finger right here, and then you can drag it, click and drag. You put it here, you can make it wider. But I'll put it right there in the middle and then I move it to a different place. I have it printed on there. Can you move it after that? Yeah. You still can. I, there's nothing there to move it. I get holding it. You can put it to original, I see. If you hold it down. Just a minute, I gotta change the color here. <laughs> and now I did it. Hmm. You may have to re-enter it again. It wants to get rid of the text. But it has to show up, the, the little box has to be around the text. To move it. To move it. No, and I don't. I get revert, I guess. Revert yeah, to you're going to you're gonna have to start over if you saved it. OK, thank you. Yeah. Bill? Uh-huh. I have a photo I would like to use, but I want to eliminate the background. How do I do that? <laughs> What's on the photo? Uh, uh, flowers. You may be able to do what we just talked about by touching the screen. Yes. So if I, I, if I go to my iPhone and Go to the photos. I have this one photo here of all these leaves and I press and hold, that didn't work. So you may not be able to extract the background on some particular items. Okay. I'm doing a search for flowers that I have. And wow. No, won't let me extract that one. Let's see this one. Nope, you can't get rid of the background on the flowers. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm not able to, at least. Yeah. Okay. One of the questions I was asked in the past, I'm, I'm moving on here, is live photos. How can I get a picture out of a live photo? Okay. So I'm going to go to my phone, I'm going to go to photos. And I go to albums. So I went to my phone and I'm looking at the albums. And mine says albums in large text at the top. So that's the first place we got to go. Right? So I'm looking at recents in both my iPhone and the iPad. And if you're not there, hit the back arrow at the top a little bit on the iPhone, on the iPad, you should be able to click on recents. And I'm doing that just to get everybody at the same place. Okay. If you're not there, give a how, give a shout out, and we'll get you there. Okay. If I scroll down, it says live photos. 
Scroll down, it says live photos in both the iPhone and the iPad. And so somebody asked me the other day, how where do did, I... Where did you I, get from recents to... Um, I just scroll live. down on the menu to live photos. Okay. And I tap live photos. I'm okay. I get live photos, but I can't. I don't know where you've got to the reasons. Uh, well, I was on reasons to start with. I'm now on live photos. Reasons is an album that's right at the top there. It says reasons on your iPhone and your iPad. Yes. And then I scrolled down on the menu. Didn't go to, I didn't go to recent. Oh, I, I, I see what my problem is. I, I'm on my iPhone. That's okay. Just, it should say albums at the, in large print at the top. It does. Now, if you scroll down there, it says media types in dark print, and it says live photos. Okay, my I think I see my problem. Recents gives me twenty one thousand. Don't, don't go to recents. I don't want you to open recents. Okay, all right. I want you to scroll down in the in the. Oh 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 oh. Okay, I see what my mistake was. Thank you. Okay, I think I know what it was. <laughs> yeah, don't open recents. Okay. And I have it on live photos. Let me go to live photos here. Okay. Let me go to one where it's obvious. Oh, here's one. And if I push, I see my wife blowing out the candles, right? <laughs> All right. Now, what if I wanted to get her in a particular place there? So I'm on the live photo, right? Where are all the live photos? I have mine across the bottom strip. When I just a minute, I tapped live photos. Right. That's all I did right now. And now I'm going to go to a particular photo. Yes. That's live. Okay. When How did you get? When you go to the photos, um, my live photos have all of the photos on the bottom so I can choose them. I don't want to go there. Just choose one. When you go to live photos, how do you choose the one you want? Do you tap I'm going, on it? I, that's going to get there. <laughs> Bill, I have a question. Uh, you say live. Did you take that picture in a video mode then? Or... I, took it in, you know, I took it in live mode. In a live mode. Okay, thank you. Is the te fi figure that the picture that you have on your iPad is that one that you pulled up from your live photos list it, it by tapping it? You can't see it, but it says live photo in the upper left hand corner of my iPad. It has live and a little arrow pointing down. Darn it. <laughs> Just a minute. Now I've unmuted me. <laughs> now you've unmuted you. <laughs> you get the same picture on my iPhone.
Okay. I Hello? have the live, I have the live photo on my screen. How do I get to live photos? Oh. I'm in albums and recent, but where are the live photos? Do not get out of do not open recents. Do not oh. open recents. Okay. I'm, I, but it's just said albums and it says underneath written, how do I get to live photos? She hasn't scrolled down far enough. Scroll I did. down to where it says live photos. Are you on your iPad, dear? Uh, uh, iPhone. Okay. Does it say albums in the middle at the top, or does it say albums like mine does? Not it also on the top, but not like yours does. Mine is in white. And underneath it says recent. And then there's something beside it, right? Then select and the three dots no, on the, the no, other side. Back. Hit the back arrow at the top. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now it scroll says, down. Now scroll down to where it says live photos. Okay. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. So here's a live photo on my iPhone of my wife when we were at uh, the Van Gogh exhibit. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good effect, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Isn't that amazing? That was that's the effect you can have with a live photo. So you can really do some interesting things. Why did it do that? What what was moving behind it was the picture. Moving? I don't know. It was a big exhibit and they had these. Uh, laser beams all over the place doing all kinds of things. <laughs> so that was the background behind her. And did it actually move like that or did you fix it so it moved? No, so it moved like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. So don't miss that exhibit if it's ever back in town again. That was just one of the pictures. We had all kinds. See him? There's Starry Night. It doesn't do anything, though. Let me go back to the flowers here, my wife. Right? All right. If I want to select a picture out of that, I would tap edit. So I tapped edit. And after I tap edit, there's a little circle at the bottom of the screen that says live. Tap that. And what it shows you is a little box and all the pictures, all the individual pictures from the video. And you can move that little box around. So let me move it so that that little blob is just touching your hair there. And I say, make that the key photo. Okay. And then tap done. So far, so good. So that's the picture that's on the screen right now, right? Yes. Wait, how did you select the individual one again? I, I didn't, it's not quite done yet. I didn't quite do everything I need to do. I went, I 
I tapped edit. I'm looking at live photo. I tap edit. And again, I should do it because you don't see what I'm tapping. Let me do it on my iPad. So it's a little clearer. I have it on my iPad. I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the iPad. And it's the same on the iPhone. Uh, Bill, could you pick one that has less shadows on her face? I, I don't care about the shadows. <laughs> mm, all right. I'm trying to make a different point entirely. Okay. I tap edit. <laughs> and then I tap where it says live, the bottom of the iPhone. There it is on the iPad. And we have these little squares show up down here at the bottom. Where are the squares? Well, you see down there at the bottom? And I, there's a little square that you can move around by putting your finger on it, white. I don't get that. You didn't tap where it said live photo. I tapped live, yes. Okay, if you're at the same screen I am, I'm gonna start over. I'm looking at the live photo while I, I'll go clear back. I'm looking at all the live photos that I have, I tap on one of them, and then I tap edit. You with me so far, Jim? Wait a minute, <laughs> let me start over again. Type, I've tapped edit, yes. And then there should be an eye, are you on your iPhone? Yes. At the bottom, there should be a little circle that says live. Yes. Tap that. Yes, done that. Now you should have a little uh, stream of uh, video shots at the bottom. I do not. You don't have that stream of stuff at the bottom of your no, screen? No, no. You have to. It's not there, I'm telling you. If you tap the live, I tapped. I did. Let me do it again on my iPhone, just to make sure I'm not misguiding you. Photos, live photo, I tap edit. And then at the bottom of the screen where it says that file, live, adjust, filter, and crop. Okay. Tap live. It doesn't have that? Yes, all of a sudden it came on, yes. It's, okay. there. it's there now, yes. So you can move that around to select the shot you would prefer, and I'll try to get one less shadows, okay? <laughs> There's one. And, right? And I tap make key photo. Okay, so that's the camera shot you see when you look at live photos. You with me so far? I don't find that last thing you said though. It shows up. After you select the picture you want, what happens next? So I'm selecting the picture on the phone. Yes. It comes up and says, make key photo. Did that come up? No. Oh. Should do it again. Oh, Change it again. You have to tap on it, Jim. Tap on the picture you want. No, oh, yeah. Tap. I've tapped on the picture I want. And it should say make key photo. Press and hold it.
<laughs> no? The rest is easy. <laughs> yes? No, Jim? Lost Jim. <laughs> I'm going to tap done. And now that's the key photo. Yes? If I go back, clear back, that's the picture that shows up when you're looking at the, the thumbnails of all your live photos. Bill, how do you get rid of all the photos you don't want that are taking up space? I'm not, stop. I'm just doing this right now. Okay. okay. All right. And then where it says live photo. Okay. And let me do it on my iPad here. See it on my iPad and I'm going to switch to the camera. On my i on my iPad. It says live photo right here. If, if I click that, it says live photo off. I select that. Okay. So live photo is now off, and that's the picture I have. And if I go back now to recents, and I scroll down to that particular picture. It's what you get. On my iPad, I scroll down to that particular picture. Boy, that was a, when was that? <laughs> I go by it? No, it's not. I'm going to have to, there it is. There they are. Oh, shoot. Just do it again. I've lost it. Being the newest, where well, was the turn off live photo? Say again, please. Where was the turn off live photo? I'll show you. Okay, thank you. Sure, stuck with the uh, candle boy now. I know it's going to have to move. If you search for Van Gogh, would it find it? No. Okay. <laughs> would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I do have here. At the fun go, but without your wife. <laughs> she was there, believe me. Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> and there's there the is. picture. Yes. It's an actual picture that I can send to somebody. Because I have live photo turned off, it's not a live photo. I can hit the share box at the top of the screen there. And I can mail it. So by turning off live photo, it's only using the photo that I selected as the display one. And we don't like the shadows in that one, but I'm going to deal with it. <laughs> right? Now, if I turn live photo off, this again, this particular technique 
you'd be sending the live photo, the three second video. We have cut that out. Okay. Any questions? Does it keep the live photo also, Bill? It does. And so anytime you want, you can go back and turn this off and switch it back to live. Why did you um, go back to turn it off? Why did you go back to turn it off? I hit the live photo icon up here. Uh-huh. And there's options there. Loop, bounce, long explore. I wonder what that does, long exposure. Oh, oh, that's interesting effect, wasn't it? Oh. Mm -hmm. You could send that. Right? You can Live see ball. her better, that's for sure. Yeah. Hmm. About what's loop do? I think it just loops through it. Looks like the pedals are going faster. <laughs> How do I get it out of that mode? Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't even know how to get it out of that mode. Just click on it. No, I tried. If I click, when you're, you got to edit it, edit it, and then put that live button back on. Edit, edit. Now hit, bring it up to live. I did, and that works. Select that. No, I'm still on loop. <laughs> I canceled loop. Okay, done. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I wonder what bounce does. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> if you send a live photo to someone, will they get that same effect or will they just have a yes. stroke? Yes. Uh, I know they will on iPhones. They'll get it, the regular yes. thing. Okay. Bill, what they do we do, do after an iPad? Say again, please. What do they we do, do on an iPad? This is an iPad. The one my camera's on right now is an iPad. Bill, what do we do after it says make key photo? How do we do it? make it the key photo? Okay, when you made it the key photo, just tap on it. Hold on. When you make it a key photo, after you've made it a key photo. How do you, it says just make a photo and then tap on it. Yeah. Get it. Now that's all you needed to do. Oh, okay. And then. Okay you tap where it says live photo up here. Oh, I'm on the phone, but it says live uh, also on, on top of it. It should be live, an arrow pointing down. Live and done. And then, and then live off. Oh. You've turned off the, the live photo, so you only yes. have the still image. And, and then this, done. And then you can, well, you should be have done, hit done a long time ago. Oh, oh, I did not. So go hit back done. to live. Hit done. And then done. Okay. Yes. And now it says live up here in the corner. Yes. You tap the down arrow and you change it to one of those effects. So I turned off live. And now the master photo is the only thing you have. Okay. All right. 
Yes, thank you. Ooh. The way in which you capture a video, right? Again, I'll do it on my iPad. I'll go down to my videos now. Oh, you're locked, aren't you? And I pick a video. Okay. Love that one. You tap edit. Oh, it's not going to do it, are you? Oh, I have to download the whole thing. Hold on. <laughs> it says downloading the image. Should have picked a different one. I had I had other ones down there. So I tapped edit. It's now downloading the whole image. And 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 what I'm going to do is you see at the bottom we have that film strip again. And we can move the little vertical bar so it's a different place. How's that? And I wanted that. So I wanted that to be the image, right? There's my grandson, all feet off the floor, getting ready to whack the heck out of that board. You take a screenshot of that image. And now I have that image and I need to crop it. It's easy. So I, just, I just go like that. And like that. Okay, and then I tap done. Save photo. So now that photo is in my photo library as the most recent photo that I've taken. <clears throat> and there's the picture. Pretty neat. Okay. Or Vernon or Martin might come in here and use it to hang out or to hide out in. Okay. Now, I have a bunch of other apps that I just want to spend a little time talking about. You might want to write them down. That I use. Somebody needs to be uh, mute themselves. Okay. Hold on. I will get back to. Some of the apps that I use, I use one called Scan Pro that I use to scan in documents.
Let me pull up a document. And I want to add one to it. And what I do is I back off so I have the, just the document there. And I push the and I push the button. And it says, is that the document you want? I said, yes. And it saves it. And I can continue to take six or eight pictures of documents that way. There is an easy way to grab a video. I'm not sure if this, this one is free or not. It's called Frame Grabber, F-R-A-M. G-R-A-B-B-E-R. -B -B -E if I tap that one, and it says, I don't want to do that. And I go to a video I have. Let me go to that, if I can find that one on my son, my grandson. It's going to be a different video. Okay. So there's my grandson. He's the one in the background there. And let's say I want that picture. I can just tap the up arrow there and I can send it to somebody. So this one's really easy, <laughs> but it may cost you some bucks to get it. It's called Photo Grabber or Video Grabber, Frame Grabber, F-R-A-M-G-R-A-B-B-E-R. -E There's one called Photo Mime. And what you can do with that, if you have a photo album and you want to take multiple pictures from the photo album, and what I'm going to do is set up some pictures here on my desk. And what I have is three pictures here. And I tap it. And it cuts them apart and saves each picture independently. Oh. Okay. Flipper. That one is really cool and it, and it removes the need for you to pull pictures out of a picture album. <laughs> okay. The, only, the other thing I want to mention to you is that I have downloaded on my device something called Google Photos. We all store, store our pictures in iCloud. I hope you're doing that now. The disadvantage of that is if you delete a picture anywhere on any device, if you delete it from recents or you delete it from the iCloud, <coughs> it will delete it everywhere. your iPhone, your iPad. And the iCloud. To avoid me losing pictures, if I choose to delete something in order to capture some space, 
I have set up Google Photos. I have a Gmail account. You download the Google Photos app. And when you download it, it says, do you want me to upload all, my, all your pictures? And I said, yes. So it takes everything I have on my device, which is everything I have in the iCloud, and it moves it, not moves it, it makes a copy of it in Google Photos. Now, if I delete it from the iCloud, it's still in Google Photos. Then why do we have the iCloud? I don't want Bill? Okay. Any yes, questions? That, is that ahead. worth it? Does that work the same for OneDrive? Do you have you have your pictures on OneDrive instead? Yes. Is that Google OneDrive or is OneDrive Microsoft? Microsoft. Microsoft Drive. If you're doing it, if you're updating or saving them there, that's equivalent to this, I believe. Okay. Uh, Bill, this is sort of off the subject, but I was thinking of your grandson and the grandsons that do all these kinds of things. I put a picture of grandmothers, our boxing class. They're age 70 through 94. And <laughs> yes, you can do anything at certain ages. So that was a, a contrast. Are you are you in that class? Yes, I am. Look All right. <laughs> yeah. No, as I said, the woman in pink in the middle is 94. <laughs> she actually has does better than I am. We've been partners on the uh, punching bag, and she's better than I am. <laughs> yeah, I would kill my wrist just to think about it. <laughs> One grandson said to her grandmother, um, your boxing gloves are bigger than you are. <laughs> we have a lady in our church who is 100, just turned 100 about three months ago. She's still driving her car around town and very active. All right. Amazing. Terrific. Bill, can I ask you, do you keep any pictures on your on your uh, Mac, on your computer? Me? Yes. I don't have a Mac. I have all my pictures in Google Photos or iCloud, and okay. I can get to them from my computer. Okay. I go Thank to iCloud.com, or you go to, to Google and log into your account there, and you can see all your pictures. Thank you. My Google photo said it, it's full. Then you have to add some more. Pay some, pay some more money. Yeah, it's a dollar ninety nine. I think for a hundred gigabytes a month. It's two dollars a month. And that's what I've up to up to two. Okay, thank you. Do you hear there was another fallout from the vaccine shots? No. no. Yeah, there is. Please be careful and pay attention to possible side effects of the shot, right? This happened yesterday to a fellow I know, and it's an important lesson for our age group. He went in for his second shot to the vaccine center. Afterwards, he began to have blurry visions on the way home. When he got home, he called the vaccination center for advice and and to ask if he should go to the doctor or the hospital. He was told not to go to the doctor or hospital. Just return to the vaccine center and pick up your glasses. <laughs> oh. I've been there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good week. See you next time, next Saturday. Yes. Thanks for a good laugh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. What will we do next Saturday? What, what are we on next Saturday? I got to look that up. Hold on a minute. And then tell me. iCloud the and channel, files. Bill. iCloud and files. Go ahead, Dan. Do the advertisement. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Just so everybody knows and remembers that the giving challenge is going to be on April 9th and 10th from noon to noon. And we're going to have Mike and at the in-person meeting that we're having, which is a lunch at Turtle Rock, is going to be on the night at noon. And Mike, yeah, uh, Mike Hutchinson will be there to help anybody that wants to 
add to our coffers, which would be doubled because it's giving challenge day. So if you put in $25, it becomes 50, 100 becomes 200. So it's a wonderful time to, if you want to give to the organization. Now, and, now give, just, to, just a side note there. You're, you're not giving to, you're giving to the organization specifically the refer project. Exactly. The refer project true. gets no money from the organization. The entire project that gives out you know, over a thousand computers a year. It costs about twenty dollars per computer for power supplies or keyboards or batteries. Um, what other kinds of things? Is there an anything, online anything the computer needs to get it to be functional so we can give it out to the needy people in the community? And we do about a thousand a year. It costs us about twenty dollars. $20, $25 per system. So if you give $20, that gets one person a computer. And actually, if you do it during the giving challenge, it gives two people, you get $40, we get $40. And it's the reason that we are a 501c3. Is there okay. something online that can be done? Or is yes. it person? Yep. You'll, get, you'll get the invite as a member. Okay. And uh, you can go on, and there's some directions, I believe, there. You'll get a message. Okay. All right. There's some directions on how to do it. Okay. it there should be two more, more announcements before the giving challenge actually happens. Yeah. It's only that 24 hour period that this is going to work. And it's, it only happens every other year. So it's important that we that we help the organization because it's how come we can be a 501c3. So what thank day? you for anybody that wants to give. What was the day again? Uh, April 9th. Okay. And it's April 10th. April 9th noon starting at noon, noon, April 10th to noon. At it's noon. Noon, April 9th to noon, April 10th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Okay, I'm, I'm looking up what's next week. <laughs> next week is iClouds and Files. Okay, thank you. Next week is iClouds and Files. I have a question. When you say at Turtle Rock, is that a restaurant you go to or what? I that, that's a retirement community here in Sarasota. Okay, thank you. And anyway. it's at their, it's at their uh, community well, center. center. Their, their community their center, and there will be instructions as to how to get there on on the internet, Thank on you. the web page, or whatever we send out to you. Wherever you get your information about Stug, you'll Thank find you. information as to how to get there. Have a good I, week, everyone. I meant to do one more thing. <laughs> I don't want to miss this. Uh, I'm going to switch back to share my screen. Bill, mm, yes. One last question, sorry. When you edit a photo, just regular editing, brightness, whatever, and then you say done, does it keep the original photo or only leave the yeah, edited one? It keeps the edited one, but usually you can revert. Thank you. You sure say duplicate if you want. You would duplicate it if you wanted to keep the original. Oh, thank you. Edit and duplicate. One of the things you can do, you know, and oftentimes, not often, frequently you, you want to uh, you actually get a hard copy of a picture. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you could print it on your printer. And there's a way to do that. You go to uh, your picture and you go to the share box and up pops, it says print. And that can get pretty expensive. What you can do, is you can go to, I'll go to Walgreens. I used to go to Walgreens. I'll go to the Walgreens app on my device. Come on. We have a picture of a- Maybe I'll go to, yeah. get a picture of a bandage. You know, <laughs> there we go. I I've given a I, and it comes up with this screen. One time, I wanted a computer for 
a Mexican guy. Okay, mute yourself, please. Mute yourself, please. They gave it to me. You know, his name was Garcia or something. You're not listening. Mute yourself, please. So he'd have a computer. <laughs> okay. It says photos in the right hand corner. I tap photos and I want prints. And it says, go to your device. Oh, okay, I'll go to my device. And it shows me all my pictures and I want a picture of the eagle here. This one, right? I tap next. I select the size picture I want, how many copies. It cost me 39 cents each. So I can get 10 copies for four bucks, right? I add that to the cart. I view cart. I proceed to checkout. And I have to choose the store I want, right? I don't want it printed in Indiana or California. <laughs> I say select the store. And it shows me the different Walgreens around the area, along with showing me exactly where the closest one is. I would tap that. I put in my first, last name, and phone number and email. They don't even want money ahead of time. Okay? And they will text you when it is done. Wow. Is this only Walgreens? No, CVS will do it too. I just pick well, I have CVS too. Same exact procedure. I didn't know about that. I live two uh, doors down to CVS. So I, there you go. I, I mean, boy. Yeah. Plus, I get such bad copies on my printer. Exactly. And they, they're fine. And you're cropping yes, it. Yes, the earliest crop. pickup for mine is at 1239. So if I send it in at 1210, I can go over and get it in 20 minutes. That's phenomenal. Okay. Can All you right. crop it before and enhance the color from home? Say again, please. Can you crop the photo or enhance it? Or is it just... I would crop it and enhance it before and, and before I go to this. So it's saved in recents. And then I use the one I cropped and doctored, okay? I'll go get breakfast. All right, have a good week, everybody. Thank you. Thank have you, Bill. Thank you. And happy Easter. Happy yeah, Easter. Very happy everyone. Easter to yes. everyone. Happy Easter. Thanks, yes. everybody. Happy Easter, God bless. That's why I was late finishing Bye. my... Bye-bye. Easter lesson. Ooh, take care, Leah. Yes, Bye -bye. thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I've been not on as long uh, frequently or as coming in late. But... I tell you, I just don't know what we're going to do with you. <laughs> yeah, it's just been this month, is, this whole year since the beginning of the year, it's just been crammed with stuff that all have to be done. Hmm. You'll manage. Yeah. Yes. Manage. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I slept through when I was supposed to be working on something last night. So I woke up about four o'clock and started on it and finally finished it about 10. So just before I came in here. But have a happy Easter, y'all. <laughs> See you. You too. I'm leaving. And leave meeting. Bye-bye.